Did you know it's estimated that Doom was the most installed piece of software in 1995? The game was installed on more computers than even Microsoft's Windows 95. The popularity of the game prompted Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates to consider buying id Software. But instead, Microsoft opted to develop a Windows 95 port of Doom to promote the operating system as a gaming platform. On October 30th, 1995, Microsoft presented a promotional video for Windows 95 featuring Bill Gates' superimposed into the game. Development of Doom began after id Software released Wolfenstein 3D. Lead programmer and innovator of the first-person shooter genre John Carmack began to work on this next project in total isolation, as the rest of the team at id worked on the sequel to Wolfenstein. For this new game engine, Carmack developed code to display texture-mapped ceilings and floors, varying light levels, and even sloped flooring, although this feature was later removed. Initially, the team wanted to make a licensed game based on the film Aliens. Id Software had even begun negotiating with 20th Century Fox for the license. However, this plan was abandoned to allow the developers more creative freedom. The final concept for Doom took some influence from Aliens, but it was also influenced by other Hollywood movies. The chainsaw and super shotgun weapons were directly inspired by the Evil Dead series. The name Doom came from a line in the movie The Color of Money, where Tom Cruise shows up at a pool hall with a custom pool cue in a case. When asked what's inside the case, case, he replies, Doom. The idea to use demons as enemies came up after some of the developers from id played a campaign of Dungeons and Dragons that ended with demons bursting through a portal and overrunning the game. Creative director Tom Hall had originally drafted an elaborate storyline for Doom in a design document called the Doom Bible. The game was to take place in a military research base on an alien planet called Tay Tanga, where creatures from hell would suddenly burst in and attack. There were going to be five playable characters, each with their own unique abilities. The storyline originally involved traveling to hell and back and eventually Tay Tango would be destroyed. The protagonist would then be held responsible and sent to jail. John Carmack did not approve of the detailed storyline, so the Doom Bible was mostly ignored in the final version. Carmack explained his position on video game narratives in 2003, stating, Story in a game is like story in a porn movie. It's expected to be there, but it's not that important. Even though the story was discarded, some of the original concepts from the Doom Bible were implemented in the final game. These include the location of military bases on extraterrestrial planets, the concept of traveling to and from hell, and modified versions of some weapons as well as some monsters that were originally conceived in the Doom Bible. Additionally, Tom Hall took some of his Doom Bible concepts with him after leaving id Software to work at 3D Realms. The first-person shooter Rise of the Triad starred a group of main characters designed after the characters planned to appear in the Doom Bible game, and the PC flight combat game Terminal Velocity featured a planet called Tay Tanga. The Cacodemon monsters are inspired by the classic Dungeons & Dragons monster, the Beholder. The design of the Cacodemon, however, comes from another Dungeons & Dragons monster, the Astral Dreadnought. The Doom series has a lot more hidden secrets and easter eggs. In early versions of the map Command Control, players can find a room containing a Nazi swastika symbol on the ceiling and floor. This was intended as a reference to Wolfenstein 3D, but it was later removed because of controversy. Wolfenstein was referenced again in Doom 2 as a secret map that can be accessed in level 15. This secret map was based on floors 1 and 9 from Escape from Castle Wolfenstein and even includes Nazi soldiers from Wolfenstein as enemies. Another secret map in Doom 2 contains these same Nazi soldiers as enemies, but it also includes a reference to id Software's Commander Keen series. The names of the levels in various Doom iterations have interesting origins. The first episode of the original Doom Knee Deep in the Dead was one of the few titles from the Doom Bible that survived the overhaul. The fourth and final episode of Ultimate Doom, called Thy Flesh Consume, gets its name from a passage in the King James translation of the Bible. Proverbs 5.11 reads, And thou mourn at the last, when thy flesh and thy body are consumed. In fact, most levels in Thy Flesh Consumed also get their names from Bible passages. The 21st level in Doom 2 is called Nirvana, and a shotgun can be found in the first sector of this level. This is possibly a reference to the band Nirvana, whose lead singer Kurt Cobain died 
from a self-inflicted shotgun blast the same year Doom 2 was released. This wouldn't be the only example of a reference to a popular rock band in the Doom series. The first level of Thy Flesh Consumed, Hell Beneath, contains a hidden room with a logo for the band Nine Inch Nails. The soundtrack for Doom 2 contains a wide range of musical inspirations from other popular rock and heavy metal artists. A track titled Bye Bye American Pie contains a sample of the song Them Bones by Alice in Chains. The track Sean's Got the Shotgun features a drum beat lifted from the song South of Heaven by Slayer. The track Into Sandy's City uses a slower take of the opening melody from the song Sex Type Thing by Stone Temple Pilots. And the track The Demon's Dead uses the opening melody of After All the Dead by Black Sabbath. During development of Doom 3, id Software scattered in a few references to the original Doom. At any point during gameplay, if the player enters a cheat code from the original Doom, a message will display stating, your memory serves you well. At the beginning of the game, the player can access a communal area where there's an arcade machine named Super Turbo Turkey Puncher 3! The fictional arcade game contains graphics from Doom and a logo inspired by Street Fighter Alpha 3. On the Mars base, a magazine can be found called Game Hog. The cover depicts the face of Doom Guy with a shocked expression. This is a reference to a status bar face in Doom 1 that would rarely make an appearance due to a bug in the game. And finally, the light patterns of the pentagrams in Hell contain a few hidden details. The first is a logo for the Union Aerospace Corporation, and the second is the face of Doom Guy in the lower left quadrant. That's all for today, but don't forget to subscribe to Did You Know Gaming and follow Did You Know Gaming on Facebook and Twitter. Make sure you also check out DidYouKnowGaming.com, and if you like this video, please check out our other videos. My name is Markiplier, narrating this on behalf of Did You Know Gaming. You can find my channel, where I play a wide assortment of various games, through the link in the description or through the annotation. Thanks again everybody for watching. Bye bye.